Hi, aloha. Happy Aloha Friday. Right, so I've been thinking a lot about how do we know when things aren't going our way, if the universe is testing our faith and trust in divine timing, or when the universe is telling us that it's time to pivot. When do we take action steps? When do we change direction? And when do we choose to just surrender? And I think there is artistry and luck <laughs> in knowing when. And for me, I think one of the ways to handle when life isn't going our way and we continue to get no's and doors closed and things um, just throwing us off our game and throwing us out of flow, out of alignment, is number one, just to pause, right? And, and listen, just get quiet, um, get quiet and just really tune into your soul, really tune into what your heart is desiring. And it's just a chance to, you know, make sure that you are in alignment. And this is, you know, where I love Reiki and yoga, you know, chakra balancing, just getting your spirit, you know, centered. And then the beautiful part about being in this physical form is that we also have the gift of embodiment and can take physical action and take some different steps. And you can do both. You can surrender and trust that things are going to work out and tr have faith and believe that, you know, life is a mirror and things are working out as they're meant to. And take a few action steps in the meantime. It's yin and yang. It's staying open up here and grounded. It's doing both because if we're too up in the clouds, if we're always daydreaming, if we're always, you know, um, meditating and, and in our emotions and just really moving in the element of air and we aren't grounded, we can miss some real opportunities, right? We can miss some some opportunities to take action and, and move forward. And if we're too grounded um, and we're too rooted, then we can get stuck, we can get depressed, we can get frustrated, we can get anxious. And I think the artistry is in knowing, you know, how to stay balanced in both. And there are so many practices that really allow us to do this. Um, Reiki, meditation, yoga, journaling, prayer, paying attention to synchronicities. But if you are having a challenging time right now and things are not going your way and you are you know hitting your head against the wall there is no shame in trusting the divine trusting divine timing knowing things are working out in your favor and everything is a learning experience and also just taking a couple of action steps you can see what's out there and what gets reflected back and you can see where the flow is. And when you get quiet after or during or before you take those action steps and you tune in to what your soul really wants, then you'll, you'll know, you'll know, and you'll see signs and you'll be guided and you can have faith in all of this happening while also taking action steps. And if you're not um, sure what action steps to take, dance, yoga, get in the body, let the body lead you, things will happen and, you know, have some patience. We live in a world where we are just so busy. We've got bills to pay and things going on and the to-do list is long and we don't always just get 
quiet and give ourselves the time and the space to just listen. And I'm not just saying like hearing yourself speak and think, but really listening to your soul. You know, and for some of us, for me, that could take weeks, that could take months. And we just need to be patient because divine timing doesn't happen like that. You know, things aren't always manifesting quickly. We want them to, that's great, but it doesn't work that way. You know, there is patience that we need. There is slowness that we need. And in a world where things are so fast, 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 I just wanna give this reminder that it is okay if you don't have all the answers and it is okay if you need a minute and it is okay if things are not working out exactly as you want right now. Give yourself grace, do your meditations, get some Reiki, play with your crystals, journal, pray, and get into your body and take some action. Get grounded, lower chakras, upper chakras, with your heart being the bridge, tune into what the heart wants, and things will be, hopefully, more clear for you. This is my PSA. <laughs> anyway, have a beautiful weekend. Thanks for listening. Aloha.